Hi guys, today we will learn about improving academic writing skills. There are a few tips that can be helpful in improving your academic writing skills. So first one is say no to contractions. Uh, you are not supposed to use the contractions while you are writing any academic piece of writing. So you should uh, use the full form like don't, do not, can't, cannot, isn't, is not, haven't, have not. So it gives the bad impression if you are using the contracted forms of them. So always use the full forms. So the next one is conjunctions. Keep yourself updated with the facts and the uses of different conjunctions. Conjunctions are used to join the contractions, to join the words and you should have the complete grip and the knowledge that how to use them. For example, fanboys coordinate conjunctions and another one is subordinate conjunctions. So uh, what are the coordinate conjunctions are the type of conjunctions in which both the clauses, uh, clauses are of equal rank and you should know how to use them. What is meant by fanboys? It is an acronym. Uh, to remember the coordinate conjunction, is, it is very easy. For example, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. You should know where to use it and how to use it. Like for, uh, when you are giving any idea in your clause and the reason is has to be mentioned like and when both clauses are of equal rank or you are giving the similar idea nor is for the negative clauses but is when you are giving the opposite idea or is when is given when you are giving an option yet is uh, just similar to the but but the next clause is uh, in the intensity of the next clause in opposite form is so much so when you are giving the reason so the next uh, tip is keep it simple always keep your writing simple because you are a beginner and you have to start from the very beginning if you want to improve your academic writing skills so here is an example there are many issues that have to be resolved immediately so it is a long sentence it is a complicated sentence you need not to be used such kind of sentences because it gives the bad impression to the reader so try using the simple sentences like many issues have to be resolved immediately Another uh, point is has to be discussed here is there are many issues. Try not to use there are structures in your writing. It, it gives bad impression. So the next one is transition signals. Get yourself updated and aware of the transition signals. These are the signals. I mean in, in daily life on roads we use traffic signals. It gives the idea uh, to the driver that where to stop, where to take right or left or how to understand the situation here on the road. Similarly, transition signals are used to understand the writing, to understand where to stop, where to take left, right or how to interpret the message that has been written uh, in the printed form. So there are a few transition signals you have to understand them uh, and their uses as well. Similarly, you use similarly when you are giving the similar idea in the next uh, piece of your writing in addition to the same use as uh, the similarly on the other hand when you are giving the opposite idea or the different idea in contrast is similar to the on the other hand however is also the similar to in contrast for instance when you are going to give an example in your writing you use for instance so ultimately the reader will understand that there, there is going to be an example which is coming to illustrate similar to for instance as a result when you're giving a result of something consequently similar to the as a result so the next uh, next step is here is nominalization always try to uh, go for noun conversion I mean you if you want to make your writing brief and you want to say more in few words you have to use this technique so how can you change the words or other adjectives into the noun so here is here are a few ways explore to explore it's a verb you can use this asian to make it noun exploration supervise supervision bore boredom okay enjoy enjoyment so these words uh, can be used to make your writing brief and authentic so the next one is when you uh, there is an example uh, i'm going to read when your body reaches to an extraordinary low temperature you need to go to hospital uh, don't you think it's a complicated sentence and very irritating one the longer one you can change it with the help of nominalization hypothermia needs hospitalization so when your body reaches to an extraordinary low temperature this whole phrase is converted with the help of hypothermia needs needs and you need to go to hospital this whole 
I mean the piece of or the or the whole message can be changed into hospitalization. So this is the use of nominalization and always focus on where you can uh, change your verbs into nominalization or into noun form. Another tip is enhancing vocabulary. There is no substitute or alternate for your vocabulary. And for better writing experience and getting better skills, you will have to good at learning vocabulary. Uh, read new and new novels, new books to enhance your vocabulary so you can use them or apply them into your writing skills. Uh, another one is conversion. Be good at it. Okay. So there are affixes. You, uh, you should know how to change the form of the word or the grammatical function of the word. For example, there is a word care. You change it to careless like the adjective. Then you convert it into noun carelessness. There are a few examples. Neat, neatness. Need is an adjective, neatness is a uh, noun. So teach, teaching, hospital, uh, you can convert it into hospitalization, good, it's an adjective, you can convert it into noun, goodness. So you have to be good at converting the words uh, in there. Uh, you, even you make new words uh, with the help of affixes. For example, agreement, you can change it into disagreement. Or agree, you make agreement. So these are the conversions. So the next one is avoid using complex structures. Uh, try to use fanboys, coordinate conjunctions, and make easier sentences uh, because you are at the beginning level and it will, it will give you a good uh, expression uh, to use these sentences. So it was all for today and apply these all tips into your writing and get the better results.